In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HClO4 plus BaOH2. This is perchloric acid, and this is barium hydroxide. So to write the balanced net ionic equation, we have to balance the molecular equation first. I can see that I have two of these chlorates here, and only one here. I'm going to put a two in front. Now it looks like if I put a two in front of the H2O, I'll have two oxygens, two oxygens, and then four hydrogens and four hydrogens. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the states for each substance. HClO4 is a strong acid. That means it's a strong electrolyte. It'll dissociate into its ions, little aqueous after it. Barium hydroxide, strong base, put aqueous after that as well. If you need some help memorizing the common strong acids and strong bases, this table here is really helpful. We can see our perchloric acid and then we can see our barium hydroxide, strong acid and strong base. For the barium perchlorate here, the product of this reaction, one of the products, we have chlorate. Chlorates are very soluble. They dissociate into their ions. Put an AQ, water, that'll be a liquid. So now we have the states. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So the strong electrolytes, we said, Perchloric acid is a strong electrolyte. It's a strong acid. We'll have H+, plus, that's for the hydrogen in group 1, and the whole perchlorate ion has a negative charge. So we have two hydrogen ions, and I'll write aqueous at the end. I won't write it for each one right now. Two perchlorate ions. Then for the barium hydroxide, barium, that's in group 2 on the periodic table, 2 plus. Hydroxide ion, that OH, is always 1 minus. So we have the barium 2 plus ion, plus we have two of these hydroxide ions. So those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said 2 plus, 1 minus. So we'll have the barium ion in the products, Ba2 plus, plus the two perchlorate ions. And we don't split liquids apart, so we just have 2 H2O. These are the products. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete ionic equation. In essence, they haven't changed. So I'm looking for things that are the same in the reactants and in the products. I see I have two perchlorate ions here in the reactants, two in the products. I'm going to cross those out. I have a barium ion here and in the products. Cross those out. And what's left, that makes up the net ionic equation for HClO4 plus BaOH2. I'll clean this up, put the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for perchloric acid plus barium hydroxide. You'll notice we have a two in front of each substance. So we can reduce that down to a lower number. We can have one, 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 but we don't write the ones. You'll also notice that charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative. They balance out, we have a neutral product. Mass is conserved as well. We have one, two hydrogen atoms here, two here. One oxygen, one oxygen. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.